Grammar Two for Level Two Students, Chapter Ten: The Passive. Passive forms of the perfect tenses: Present Perfect, Affirmative, and Negative Sentence. See the structure. The sentence begins with the subject. This is the object of the active sentence. Then verb to have, according to the number and person of the subject, have or has. It is followed by the past participle form of the transitive verb by preposition. The object, and it is the subject of the active sentence. See the examples. This is an active sentence in the affirmative as a statement. She has cooked the food. She has cooked what? And we find this answer: the food. It is the object of this verb, cooked. In the passive sentence, the object becomes the subject. The food. It is a singular noun, so we use has. Then after been, and it, it is followed by the past participle form of the transitive verb cooked by the preposition, and the subject of the active sentence becomes the object in the passive her. So the passive form of the active sentence: the food has been cooked by her. Another example: the man has not seen the car. This active sentence is a statement in the negative, and it is in the present perfect tense. The man has not seen what, and this is the object of this verb seen. In the passive sentence, the object of the active sentence becomes the subject, the car. It is a singular noun, so we have to use has for negative not. And the past participle form of the transitive verb is seen, preposition by, and the subject of the active sentence becomes the object in the passive, the man. So the passive form of this active sentence is the car has not been seen by the man, and the sentence is still in the negative as a statement.